Round 10 on the ITU World Cup schedule moved to Tisha with Varos in Hungary, a popular venue on the schedule for 23 years now. And the elite men's final got underway in good conditions, a non-wetsuit swim, 750 metres, three laps in the small lake in the centre of town. And two men were soon out in front, Aurelien Raphael from France and Marc Devey from Hungary first out of the water with around about a 20 second gap over the rest of the field. 30 men had qualified over two semi-finals over the previous days. The semi-final shortened to super sprint distance after heavy rain caused problems on Saturday. But no problems with the weather today. Devey and Raphael were first into transition and out onto the bikes. 20 kilometers, eight laps around the streets of Tishu Averos, a fairly flat course, but one or two technical turns, including a tight 180 degrees at the furthest part of the course. They started to set a good pace, Devey leading the way, but the chase grip weren't too far behind them. Dmitry Polyansky, the Russian, was among that group. He's had great success in this event over the years. And for the first couple of laps, Devey and Raphael were out in front. But Raphael dropped off, leaving Devey all on his own, and he struggled to keep up the pace, and the chase group soon caught up with him to form one large group heading into the final part of the 20 kilometers. And it would be down to who had the run legs. Devey did his best to keep up the pace, but all on his own. A quick glance back to see where the rest of the field were on a couple of occasions, but the inevitable happened. And soon enough, they were to bridge up and form one large group. Large crowds lining the street, as always, for this event. They fortunate that the weather stayed fair, having rained heavily for the junior races during the course of the morning. Halfway through the eight laps, and it was a new man at the head of the field. Jan Vola from the Czech Republic deciding to go it alone. But with a large group bearing down on him, he was really a fighting a losing battle. He managed to stay out in front for a lap or so before being caught up at the end, and it was a large group that came into transition. Devey among them, who'd set the pace early on along with Raphael. And it would be down to who had the legs over five kilometers, four laps around the street, out of transition, a left turn down to the side of the lake and along the path before back out onto the streets once again. Raphael managed to get himself back out in front, but he was soon joined by a host of athletes, including Vian Solveld, who won his semi-final impressively yesterday. Fisher, the Australian, was also nicely in contention at this point. Park Lizard from Great Britain was in there as well, as was the number one ranked man in the field this week, Eli Hemming from the USA. And those four looked to be pulling away from the field. So in the final stages of the run, it was down to five out in front. The Tishu Ivaros born and bred Songa Bense was involved, but he dropped off in the last few minutes. It was Eli Hemming, the number one ranked male in the field, who managed to win it in a sprint from Fisher, with Solvald coming in third. You know, I was uh, pushing first, like, quarter of the bike, but uh, kind of realized it wasn't going anywhere. Kind of let a few guys dangle out in front. Um, but then I figured just save it for the run. Hey, hey.